Hey YouTube, this is Kobe here, your host, over here in Louisiana today. Something's been pressed on my mind all week, and it's been one word, and it's faith. And this is for me, okay? So, most people believe, I believe it when I see it. And I say no. Believe it until you see it. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. And you go along reading this chapter and tells you about people by their faith, their actions, right? And they believed on God. When you get to verse 6, listen to this. But without faith it's impossible to please him, that's God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he's a rewarder, of them that diligently seek him. And it goes on by faith Noah and by faith Abraham and so forth. So you must believe God is who he says he is. God's going to do what he says he's going to do. And you must believe this. I mean, and walk by it. Most people say they believe in God. Okay, that is faith. But I believe we're going to need more than that. You're going to have to act it out. Uh, sometimes faith doesn't make any sense at the time. I'm going to say that one more time. Sometimes faith makes no sense at the time. But in God's plan, all right, I had a decision to make. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But faith, I keep believing God. We, that's faith. You need to grow it. You need to nurture it and water it by reading His Word and clinging on to Him daily. Day, not just something you do on Sunday, an hour, or you get, what, a 15 minutes uh, lesson these days? No, this is daily. And you, you must saturate yourself with His Word. And let's put off the works of the flesh and all that, okay? Draw near close to God. And diligently seek him. That's the key. So I had to make a decision. You may not know, I was a paratrooper in the 82nd in the infantry. And research and studies have shown that it takes up to 4G when you canopy. Your main chute opens when you come out. And it, it's all on your spine. And up to, I think, 17 Gs on the land, on the impact with the T-10 Charlie chute. And these British studies and all that showed all that. So, when I got out, you know, did MRI x-rays and stuff, and they showed that my disc, the S1L5 or something, was half the thickness of what it's supposed to be, just a trauma, just boom, boom. And they knew, you know, that in the future, I probably need surgery. And that was, what, 20 years ago, okay. And since then, you know, just the wear and tear and everything, have worked, it, it just, now i got two ruptured discs, and, and, and the, the nerve pain, and the numbness, and it feels like stuff crawling on me that ain't there, and it's just a lot of pain, and arthritis, and so they wanted to do a spinal fusion test, uh, surgery on me, by well-known doctors, you know, and, you know, a couple of doctors said I needed it, and so, uh, but something just wasn't right. They wanted me to do a, a COVID swab of the nose, and that just don't sit right with me. I'm a man of conviction. It didn't make sense, and I'm going to tell you why. They wanted to do this snob, uh, swab two weeks before I had surgery, and not of when I had surgery. So it didn't make sense to me. I don't know what's on the end of that Q-tip. Some people say some, I don't know. Scary. So I asked them, can I use my Q-tips? They said, no. Hmm. And I said, why wouldn't you do a swab on the day of the surgery so two weeks before I could catch maybe the COVID, you know? They said, no, you just need to do it one time. That doesn't sit well with me, people. You know, you, you say you have faith and believe in God. That's one thing. But when you walk this, is another. And I turned down the surgery. 
My family think I'm stupid. I know it doesn't make any sense. I know. But I'm believing God's going to do something. Because that thing ain't going up my nose. And no telling else what they're going to do to me while I'm, un while I'm under, you know. So if you would keep me in prayer. If you walk in, if you walk in this out. Your prayer of a righteous man uh, prevails. Just end of James, right? I'm not talking about works of lists and do's and don'ts and self-righteousness. No. I'm talking about a person who has the Holy Spirit. Who follows the convictions of the Holy Spirit. And is led of the Holy Spirit. And that brings holiness. Okay, It's the work of God. If you're walking in this and you're living in this. Please be praying for my miracle. Because God made me. Surely he can fix me. It doesn't make any sense on the outward. I'm feeling him right now. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. So the things to come, we're going to have to walk by faith and not by sight. Not on your own understandings. And we need to stir up the faith that we have. Saturate ourselves with his word and just get close to him and diligently seek him. Right? Verse 6. And that's how we're going to grow. I thank you. And please, stir it up. Stir it up and seek God. Bless you. In Jesus' holy name. Bye.